Where's your spell? I'm like, I'm still sleeping. Go be a statue somewhere else. Selfie chair. Selfie. Get out. That says be beautiful. This one definitely reminds me of you, Jen. Thanks to Disney Magic Kingdoms for sponsoring this video. Hey Gems, OMG, I'm so excited because today I finally get to do a room tour. So let's all work together and get this video to 5,000 likes. And don't forget to put a send emoji in the comments because you're gonna be seeing a lot of beach things in here because my room is decorated just like the beach. First guys, I wanna show you my bed. Ow! What are you guys doing? We're playing Disney Magic Kingdoms. No, I mean like, what are you doing under my bed? We always sneak in your room. Get out from under there. Okay, uh, okay. okay. Uh, Gems, we love going to Disney. And in this game, you can go to all different theme parks from all over the world. <gasps> like Disney World? Yes. <gasps> in Disneyland? Yes, like Disneyland Paris and Tokyo Disneyland. <gasps> Even California Adventures? Uh, yes. There's lots of fun characters like Mickey Mouse, Rapunzel, or Buzz Lightyear. And you build your own theme park with all your favorite rides, like It's a Small World or Space Mountain. Or Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Remember when we went there last year at Disney World? And I was chosen from the audience. I felt so special. And I didn't get chosen. Oh, Giselle. That's because I'm funnier. Yes, I just got some stars. What does that mean? Let me explain. Look, it's kind of like you're in the movie Fantasia. First, you have to take off all of the curses. Look, see? Cursed, cursed. Everything's cursed. The bad guys are Zer, Maleficent, and Pete, and they're trying to take all of the happiness out of the theme park and make it only evil. Bum, bum, bum. It's so much fun because you get to be in your own magical story and you gotta complete all of these fun quests. <gasps> I wanna play. It's easy, just download the game for free in the App Store. We put the link down in the description. Got it, now get out. Jeez, all right, we're going. Unless you want us to stay and help you. <sighs> get out. Oh, fine. Okay, starting all over. So this is my bed. I have so many pillows, cause I mean like, who doesn't love pillows? So this one's from Target, and the rest are from Ross. And I have like this circle shelf, which is also from Target. A lot of my stuff's from Ross, Target, or Ikea, just so you know. I have all these cute decorations from Hobby Lobby, and this one is my favorite. I got this one actually from Disney World at Epcot, and it's a Day of the Dead skull, skeleton, really just cute. And then I also have these nice sheer curtains with kind of like fairy lights in the background. So it looks very like fun and you know, teenagery and older, mature, yeah. I have my pineapple, little cute geometric art. And it's just super fun. And this is also from Hobby Lobby. And then my fluffy blanket, which I sleep with like every night. And when my parents tell me to get out of bed, this is what I'm still cuddling with. And then they're like, where's your all? I'm like, I'm still sleeping. I have this cute saying that says, be awesome, be you. And these stickers are from Target. It really like pops your room. And under my bed, I have this cute little like, not yoga mat, but it's kind of similar. And I love to like come out and be like, I'm at the beach, woo woo. And then I realize I'm still in my room. Okay, Jim, so right next to my bed, I have this cute little shelf where I put my water on, but I have all these cute little knickknacks and fun stuff, but this is my favorite part of it. I have a towel that has my name. It says Giselle, and I got this from my grandmother who was actually in our adoption day vlog, so be sure to go check it out. It's just so cute and so fun, and it totally seems like a beachy. What? what? <laughs> but then I have this cute little thing, and it opens up, and I always put my money in there. Just fancy and <coughs> oh, I got dust in my eyes. Oh, it burned. Surprisingly, actually, I got this from Chinatown. It's like so pretty and just so flirty. Mm -hmm. If you want to be creepy. <laughs> Next, I have this, which is my like basket full of flowers and it's so cute and I love this yellow color. And I have my ukulele. I'm trying to learn. It's not like my main focus though. 
more into, you know, artsy and crafts. I have these two signs up here that says, welcome to the beach, and I love this one. And then this one says, Costa Rica, what what? And then I have this cute chalkboard with like cute little drawings and stuff. And then a picture of my sisters and I, and a picture of one of my best friends and I. Her name's Sarah. Hopefully she shows up in some of my videos. And then I have this cute little bird. I'm gonna show you up there. I'm just a little too short to be. Oh, there we go. All right, so up here I have this really cool marble thingy. It's like huge and super heavy. And then I have a basket with other knickknacks and like a mug that says filled with love. Underneath this like long shelf, all my cute stickers. And they like says beautiful, one says brave, and there's arrows, and it's so amazing, and aztec -y and cute. <laughs> and this is my cool potted plant. Sadly, it's fake. Over here is my selfie chair. Selfie. Selfie. Uh, what are you doing in here? Get out. Oh. All right, guys. Now on this saw, I have squawkers. Say hello, squawkers. Hello. He's a super fun bird and super colorful. And I call him the king of my room because he has a crap. Crown nut no, won't stay. Okay. Let's just. There we go. It looks beautiful. And he has a cracker too. Next, I have my coloring book. And this is like means a lot to me because. Whatever. It has very cute motivational sayings like remember to take a deep breath. Have a parade no matter what the weather. If it's not risky, it's probably not worth it. For. Let's just. And not, whatever. For example, I made this candy jar and it looks super cute and I put it on a mason jar and it has all this candy and stuff. So let me know in the comments if you think I should do DIYs. I think I'm pretty artsy. <laughs> Over here in this drawer, I have this other coloring book and it's a, a lot bigger and I got it for Christmas from Mercedes. She knows me very well. And I have this for this journal and I think it's super cute. I should probably do this in some of my videos. That would be super fun. <laughs> Uh, Next thing, I used to collect chapsticks all the time. I mean like all the time. I don't know if it's because I had really crusty lips or I just like the colors. I have like baby lips, all these chapsticks, I have a lot of lip glosses, but I just keep them I'm a hot mess. But I just keep them out because they're so cute and I put them in this little container because I'm always using these. When I wake up, when I'm changing. Great information. <laughs> Up here in this cabinet, I have bath and body work stuff. Besides this, this stuff's like lush bath bombs. I need to get more. There's just so many and I love the scents. Like this lotion is my favorite. It smells so good. And I just have a lot of hand sanitizers. Woo! Ow, my toe. Woo! <laughs> Sugar plum swirl. Malibu heat, twisted peppermint, watermelon lemonade, and cool coconut colada, and sweet pea. I'm like so addicted to sunglasses. Jen, tell me in the comments what your favorite type of accessory is. This is definitely mine. Okay, so I'm super excited to show you what I have down here. So, Evangeline, what are you doing? I'm being a statue on your shelf. Can you go be a statue somewhere else? This place is better. Oh my goodness, Evangeline, just get out! Ah! Okay, okay! I have all these cute little frames, and then I have this cute big anchor with a pineapple, and it just looks super adorbs. This is totally like, just so fun! And then in my frames, I have all these cute motivational, just like things, like be unique. You, get it? You, be unique. But I just love these so much because I love waking up in the morning and seeing these and being like, just feeling really good inside. That says, be beautiful. This one definitely reminds me of you, Jens, because everyone is beautiful inside and out. And they're just so cute and just so beautiful because they totally go with the colors of my room and just mean like a lot to me. And then this one is just flowers and this one's also super cute. It says, stay wild. Ram antlers? I think that's what they called. I don't know. Ram antlers. Ooh. Over here I have my TV with lays. It looks super cute. And then I have an aloha sign. 
just cute little decorations and this thing is so cool. It's like fish going and it's like lights and it looks like they're swimming. And then we have this cute little accessory just holder where I put some of my accessories just to kind of add like more pop in my room. And so yeah, we don't we don't ever go on that one. Let's just move on. Okay, Jen, so the next part of my room is my closet. But before I show you, I have a big announcement. I got a lip ring! Just kidding. Ow. It's a nose ring. Just kidding. It's actually ear cuff. Cause I really want to show you my Ugh. Oh. I love accessories, as you guys already know, by like everything I've already been showing you. I love accessories and I love my necklaces. I think my favorite one right now I've been obsessed with. I've been obsessed with like um chokers, like crazy obsessed. I'm always wearing them. But I also really love my ear cuffs. I was just wearing one on my mouth because I just think they're so cute and I love rings. I'm always wearing rings, surprisingly. Right when I say that, I'm not wearing any, but I love rings so much. And then I have purses. And I also am obsessed with purses. I have this one, I have this one, I have this one, I have this one, I got this one, I got this one, I have this one. I think I already did show you this one. I have a lot of purses. And that's because I'm not one of those girls who like has a purse for like a month and then changes. I change my purses like every single time I go out. You can ask my mom. She has to like seriously push me out of the door. Yes, I'm obsessed with purses. All right, and the last thing on my closet that I love is my collage. It's basically a collage I think I made like a year ago. Things about me. And just, if you know me, then you know I love sleep. But I'm not gonna share too much of these because you should go check out my 20 facts about me if you want to learn more about me. So yeah, go check it out. 